Tell me that you're about how your supply chain works so well, because we know others have not been able to deliver. Well, I think it's a combination of things. We are constantly navigating. Uh, the first thing we did was my team was very proactive in committing to this supply chain that I believe has been the worst ever in my decade to plan ahead. And these are components that were 50 to 70 win min uh, weeks long in our ability to get them. So we have committed four and a half billion in purchase commitments across multiple years, even though our business requires much less of that. And so we're making a multi-year commitment and we're throwing uh, cash at the problem. So that's one. The second thing is we're navigating through components that we're not getting. Uh, there's substrate shortages, there's metal shortages, there's component shortages. So even though we're planning for all these components, not all of them are available at the same time. We're having to grow, go to broker parts and pay extra um, money for them, often a magnitude more for them. And we're you know, sparing no uh, costs and we're turning every stone to get these parts. And, and that, at the same time, it's a real challenge to get as much as we'd want. These suppliers are decommitting. So trying to prioritize and make everything hum together is indeed a work of planning and art, and I couldn't be more proud of my team. But there's much more to do. Our demand is far greater than the supply. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.